Jesus' life gives light to men so they may have life. If you have been baptized into being obedient to God's law, then you will have no problem acknowledging that this way is right and believing what I have written is our divine purpose for being here. And if you have not, then you will probably reject the words I have written because you have not been prepared to accept the message. If I get you to see that you have been a sinner from birth and in need of salvation, then I have cured your blindness. When you accept me as being holy, then you also will be holy like I am. I follow God's will for the simple reason that it is God's will and He wants me to. Our goal should be achieve what Christ has, which is a pure and perfect holiness. Always be aware of what you're doing and always be conscious of the fact that God sees everything you do. Just because you are saved, it doesn't mean you won't occasionally sin. And if you do commit a sin, it doesn't necessarily make you hypocritical. It is those that practice sin as a way of life that are hypocritical. Jesus did not come to judge the first time, but He does this time. Baptism by fire is to judge you and purify you of all your unholiness. And if you refuse, then you will be tormented by that fire in hell forever. John the Baptist baptized people with the word of God to get them to repent. So they would be prepared for the spirit that Jesus was going to baptize them into. That would make them into a new living being. John's baptism was intended to take wickedness out of them, and Jesus' baptism is intended to put righteousness into them. It is repentance that takes sin out of you, but it is Jesus who cleanses you of them and takes them away. If you don't repent to break the hold they have on you, then Jesus can't take them away. Taking a drink of the water of life is a repouring of the Spirit, and at this time it is available to all who will come and call on the name of the Lord. Those of you who have been sealed with the Holy Spirit are now filled with it. If you are sealed with the Holy Spirit by accepting Jesus Christ as the Savior, which some people believe once saved, always saved, and then you become a Muslim and drop the Lordship of Christ or you later become a Buddhist. Are you still sealed and guaranteed salvation? No. Sin won't normally cause you to lose your salvation. But changing religious beliefs will. Muslims and Jews, you are not saved. You are a flock that belongs to God, but you are still marked for slaughter unless you come to accept Jesus Christ as the shepherd who can save you. No matter what language you speak, if you will let your tongue speak the word of God and believe it, you shall be saved. God's revelation that we are, are all begotten is for all and it needs to be translated into every language so that everyone may hear it. Cease and be still, tongues. I do not understand what you're saying. It's not edifying me, so therefore I fail to see its purpose any longer. How do I know God created the world? Because the Bible said He did. The place where Jesus has come to in his belief is the same place where God and Jesus want us to come to. And that is the knowledge that we are begotten children of God. 
When God gave Jesus this knowledge, it showed that he was loved and glorified above all others. And now Jesus wants to see you given this truth also, so that you can be glorified with him. And also know that you were loved by God, even before the creation of the world. The story to stay in God's good grace and avoid a possible charge of blasphemy. Try to avoid doing or being any of the following things. Of course, this is only a partial list. Unrighteousness, non-belief, misunderstanding, unfruitful, ungrateful, betrayer, stubborn, mocking, falseness, non-repentance, deceit, wickedness, impatience, unfaithful, despiser, injustice, not attentive, untruthful, abusive, user, hypocrite, blasphemer, wrongness, non-reliance, stiff-necked, non-listener, detestable, non-compliance, non-acceptance, insult, rejection, oppression, slanderous, wisdomless, lawless, non-responsive, refusal, unholy, weakness, lazy, non-glorifying, unloving, denying, treachery, conceited, resentment, non-discerning, non-reliable, self-reliant, dishonor, non-acknowledgement, fearful, compromised, foolish, non-committal, disobedience, suppression, abandonment, self-will, non-enduring, overlooking, envy, strife, boasting, prideful, ruthless, condemning, shallow, perversion, confused, impure, controversy, insincerity, unconscionable, corruption, argumentative, arrogance, opinionated, know-it-all, non-perceptive, unhappy, unworthy, worshipless, non-peaceful, not satisfied, untrusting, provokers, rebellers, covenant breakers, scoffers, immoral, non-submissive, unreasonable, selfish, unrespectful, complainers, fault finders, flattery, self-interest, non-spiritual, misleader, unwilling, malice, violators, unenlightened, unsharing, disgraceful, worthless, uncaring, unaccountable, non-praying, haughty, forsaker, untruthful, unforgiving, unmerciful, vengeful, bitterness, unappreciative, shameful, accuser, depravity, undisciplined, non reverence, ungodly. I'm sure you get the idea. These are not just words, they are power and spirit, and for your sake they will convict you and make you holy, if you will choose to live by them. The Gospel of Jesus Christ calls all but only those who accept and believe it, and allow its message to convict them shall be chosen. All children are to study the Holy Scriptures and learn them so that they are thoroughly equipped to be good servants for God Almighty. I want them to be fully convinced by the time they become an adult that the only wisdom worth following is the wisdom that God has taught them, and that the only way to be saved is by having faith in Jesus Christ. And you do that by training them in the righteousness that the Bible contains. Show them that you know the Scriptures and that you continue to follow what you have learned, and they will do the same. If you do not preach the word to them and carefully instruct them and encourage them in the ways of the Lord, then I will have no choice but to charge you with neglect and rebuke you for it. You will stand in judgment before me until you are corrected of this evil sin. That is why society has been going from bad to worse, because we haven't been making our kids learn about God, and I refuse to let that kind of of deceit into my kingdom. We are to live a godly life in Christ Jesus from our birth and anyone who thinks different needs to be persecuted. If you want this kingdom to endure and have all of God's children grow into a, a spiritual living being, then we must not let another season go by without stopping those that are spiritually dead from teaching our children. They are imposters and they have been allowed to deceive us for too long. From now on, we are taking back the education of our children so that we can again teach them sound doctrine.